So when I was in middle school, I actually did not have an idea of where I wanted to be. I thought I was actually going to be a basketball player and I was playing basketball. And as time went by in my middle school classes, I kept receiving progress reports and report cards that said that I was talking too much in my class. And as a result, my mother threatened that if I continued to talk too much, she would take me off the basketball team. Uh, in order for me to refocus on my science class in particular, my grades went up in the class and I found a new love and enjoyment for science. Um, when I graduated from high school, I started at Virginia State University and my first year I saw this ad it was essentially advertising an internship at the College of William and Mary. And during that time, I worked under Dr. Diane Shakes, who was looking at cell cycles using C. elegans, which is a microscopic worm. I was so amazed that when I went back my sophomore year, I was like, okay, let me look at research a little bit more. In about 2011, during my master's year, I had a great opportunity to travel to Ghana to teach math, science, and English. I fell in love with teaching science because I was able to use fun hands-on activities as well as pictures to help associate that to the lessons being learned in the classroom. I knew from there that I wanted to pursue my PhD. And fast forward five years later, I graduated as the first African-American to earn my PhD in the Department of Biomedical Sciences at Florida State University. And it was amazing being able to like allow science to guide my journey essentially because the more exciting it was, the more I followed that path and more I became passionate about it by seeing the impact it can have on the students I was teaching, um, my own life and how there was all those so few of individuals that looked like myself in these fields, it was still just so exciting that I had to keep pressing on and had to keep going.